guys are spry and chipper today. It's good. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? Why wouldn't we be? That's right. That's right. You're spry and chipper yourself. Well, good one today. I was just informed it was Wednesday, so that's that's good. It's a good place to start. Hump day. Hump day, right? Yeah, it's all good. Uh, halfway to the week. <laughs> yeah, what? Where are we starting? What do we? What do we have? Well, um, putting uh, Lynn back in from what we saw at uh, morning skate today. Yes, Cole Lynn will go back in. Yep. And then uh, uh, Gruby. Gruby will start tonight. Yep. Yep. Well. Son has had five assists in his last couple games here. He seems like he's been moving the puck well. What have you been seeing from him lately? Uh, it's, a, it's a combination of you know the, some of the offense coming from from good defensive play. Uh, you know he's you know he's a guy that's we, we've continually put him in elevated situations. Um, you know and and the you know the number of minutes against you know some of the. Some of the top players, night in and night out, uh, has has really increased, and you know he's he's embracing that role. Uh, you know, uh, a couple nights ago, that was you know, that was the strength of his game. He defended well, and off of that, he was able to, you know, to to move the puck, do what he does well, join the play, um, and and be part of things offensively. So it's the combination of both of those things that that you know we really need from him, and he's been providing for us. Seems like when you play with a team like the Avalanche, you have a lot of offensive skill and can skate and move the puck. Is, is, is it become imperative to you that you want to maybe try to slow them down? Is it a, is it a battle of styles, or, or do you just want to go play your game? Once works? they get going, it's really hard to slow this team down. So you you know the you know the real the trick is to find a way to to slow them down and stop them before they get going, um, and that's easier you know obviously easier said than done. Um, you know, once they get moving and get going up ice, their their D are joining or leading. You know, leading the rush. Um, and you know, once that wave gets going up ice, it's it's hard to defend because of their creativity and, and the pace that they play with. So, you know, we have to be good. At, you know, we have to be good up ice on their half of the red line. We've you know we've got to be good uh, in the O zone. You know, and, and make sure that we're on top of them and coming up with pucks and uh, you know, as I said, trying to stop some of that before it gain, you know, it gets going. Why is your team in a better position this time around versus the Avs compared to last time? Well, I don't know if that's you know the the last time we played them, you know, in uh, in Colorado, you know, we played a heck of a hockey game. Um, you know, we uh, you know we. We had a lead in the third period, and you know we made a couple of mistakes, um, and a couple of those mistakes were made, you know, 180 feet from our net, and that generated opportunities, as I said, off the rush coming at our net, um, and you know, and got us in a little bit of trouble. So, you know, um, I guess I'm not comparing it a whole lot to the last two contests that we've played against this team. You know, we've got to be good tonight, and and by that I mean we've we've got to have everybody. Um, you know, everybody sharp, uh, everybody really competitive on pucks, uh, and we've got to have five guys moving together. Yeah, I'm curious about uh, a guy like Cole then, uh, who's amped his game up since being called up and then getting a chance to take it into the press box the other night. Uh, getting back in there, what are you looking at as far as his responsibility as a forward here playing this evening? Real competitive 200 foot game. Uh, you know, to, I mean, that's. I know that's kind of a that's a pretty large you know large blanket to throw over it, but really that's you know that's it you know you know Lindy you know when he's good um, he's really confident with the puck he's moving and skating and holding the puck in in the right situations um, making good decisions and uh, you know we took him out of the lineup you know not to have him second guess or question himself uh, we wanted to have him be able to take a step back uh, make sure he's Learning and growing and, and preparing well, and then come back into the lineup tonight with great confidence and, and go play. So I want to see him do the things that he does well. He's got to go out and skate. He's got to play strong in the puck, and he's um, you know he's got to do those, those things confidently. Other guys seem to sort of have some more confidence in the puck lately. Is Victor Rask scoring quite a bit lately? What jumps out to you about him? What have you seen from him lately? Well, he's the the number one thing is he's not a guy that he doesn't jump off the map at you. Yet at the end of the night, he's a guy that just you know racks up good play after good play. He's a smart player. Uh, he's efficient with the puck. He uses his line mates well. 
um, and he, you know, he's he knows where to be on the ice. So, you know, he's he's quietly, you know, been a very consistent and very reliable player for us. Um, you know, the uh, the offensive side of the game, you know, shows with some of the results that he has. Uh, but it's in it's in a lot of the details of of his game uh, that he really brings a strength. And it seems like over the course of this season, this group has found a way to sort of elevate its game when they're facing these sort of top end teams. What do you think that says about the leadership core or the guys in the locker room that they like to elevate sort of to that level? Well, that's a natural tendency, you know. I mean. Uh, let's be honest. You got to be ready to go against a team like this tonight, or they'll make you look bad. I mean, I'm just being blunt, right? Um, so, you know, you got to be ready to go at the drop of the puck. And um, you know, when you you know when you play some of the top teams in the league, um, you know that challenge is is there. It's in front of you, and it should be an exciting one, one that you want to take on. And um, you know, our, our team has done a good job of that tonight's. A, you know, tonight's a new hey. It's a it's a new opportunity. Um, but it's it's a big test and a big challenge. This is this is a hell of a team. I think everybody around the league knows that uh, the things that they're capable of doing. Um, so you know we've just uh, you know really continue just to concentrate on the things that were uh, that we have to do, um, and and then you know get ready and go out and do them tonight at the drop of the puck. Thanks. 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 Thanks.